Today we're treating ourselves and we've come to the Seicheni Baths. This is really exciting. It's one of the best uh, hot spring baths in Budapest. And we're going to go in and spend some time in the water. This is incredible. It's more like a blinking church or an art gallery or a museum. Great. I can't think of a better way to spend a cloudy afternoon in Budapest. <laughs> Are you happy now, Mandy? Yeah. <laughs> Day turn tonight, it's just as pretty. Definitely recommend coming here for at least two hours because there's so much to see, so many baths to go in, and uh, it's really pleasant. So, you could spend an entire day here. So, we're gonna be here for at least four, I reckon. So, it's our first clear day in the four days we've been here today. So, we've come down to the Danube, we're gonna cross the bridge and go over to the Buddha side. We're gonna visit the Citadella, we're gonna go up to Buddha Castle over there, and behind it, Fisherman's Bastion. And from all of those places, you can get great views of the city. Top of the Citadella, admiring the wonderful scenery. Yeah, that's a nice day for it. There's a lot of steps there. Enjoying the walk up the steps, Mandy. <laughs> Dear Lord, there's a lot of steps. I think this is going to be like the Mandy Ewok series. <laughs> Paul and our Budapest. You're nice and warm, that's the main thing. Yeah, it's Worth it for the scenery. Check that out. You know, Buddha Castle, looking over the Danube at Parliament. Finally, I understand what everyone raves about. Yeah. Just paste that, and these walls are five metres thick. Outside the National Museum now with a cracking viewpoint and Fishman's Bastion is a little bit further out but we're heading that way. <laughs> it's bitterly cold. Back into the shed. It's beautiful. Fisherman, the Fisherman's Bastion is amazing. Far more people here today than there were the other day when we came up and it was pouring with rain. As you can see, there's a statue of, oh no, was it St. Stephen? Oh, I don't King know. Stephen? Oh, dude on the horse. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> yep. And the views from around by the turrets there are very impressive. And those amazing roof tiles up on St. Matthias. Yep. How much is it to go in there? About know, eight or nine dollars or something like that. So unfortunately we won't be joining <laughs> the others. St. Matthias Church up at Fisherman's Bastion. Absolutely beautiful. And up on Fisherman's Bastion, the views are just as spectacular. You can see why everybody comes over here for this. We're about to visit the most beautiful library in the world. Well, that's what I'm calling it now. 
It's the Metropolitan Erwin Sasbo Library. I apologise for my pronunciation. It's not too far from the central market in the back streets. It's quite easy to find. And by the look of the door, it looks fantastic. We haven't seen inside yet, but I think it's just going to be this beautiful grand mansion. Wow, already downstairs. I mean, look at this for an entry. So we're here at the Shoes on the Danube um, memorial sculpture and it has shoes for the people who between 1944 and 1945 were killed by the, I think it's the Arrow Cross militiamen. The majority of the people killed were Jewish, um, they were shot and the bodies fell into the Danube but they were told to take their valuable shoes off beforehand, leave them behind while their bodies fell into the river and all washed away. Um, it's a very sad sight, of course, and it's good to see people remembering this tragedy. This is the incredible parliament building. Uh, Neo-Gothic built in 1904 and it's quite atmospheric with the uh, with the cloud and the mist at the moment. I love it. just down the street from Caravan is Simpler Bar. One of the most famous and one of the biggest ruined bars of them all. Amazing when you think it like this was an old factory and this is what they've converted it into. It's a whole area full of different bars and things. Brilliant. So many amazing rooms and I love the graffiti. Wow, we didn't see any of these the other night. So I should have had more of a wonder. It's lovely artwork. And we found this parking garage with such amazing murals. So I thought it was definitely worthwhile just wandering in for a closer look. Found another amazing mural. Some beautiful art in this city. So this has got to be my favourite mural in Budapest. This is um, commemorating Hungary's 6-3 victory over England in 1953 when uh, Puskas scored and uh, it was probably one of the greatest moments in Hungarian football history. It's a massive mural, it's impressive and I love the lace-up ball at the bottom. Fantastic. We're about to step like, right back to the other side of the car park. You can see the cars below, just exactly how big this is. Yeah, it's huge. Uh, you know, it's just, just incredible it's when football was football. Here we have the Great Market Hall. Wow, Great Market Hall, I love it. This is Hungary, the ultimate sausage fest. Look at that one.
So to do something different on this rainy day, we've come to the Kerapesi Cemetery, which is also called the Fumi Road Cemetery, uh, which is a famous cemetery in Hungary where all the important people, statesmen, artists, and so on have been buried. Uh, it's really quite interesting. They've got lots of information. Uh, and we, the first thing we've come to is the funeral coach, which has only been used for four funerals, state funerals. And look at how impressive that is. Incredible. It says it's one of the largest state funeral coaches in the world. And actually disappeared for two decades after World War II and resurfaced far from Budapest. Which is so interesting. And here we found the Soviet memorials, sculptures that abstract, I don't know, 1950s for the people. This is being oppressed by a work is being oppressed by a man in a hat with a saber. Wow. The weather's took a turn for the worst, so it's time to head home. St. Stephen's Cathedral, another beauty. 